All right. What up, guys? Trevor of the Ice Mask Gang here. And tonight, we're going to go ahead. It's not what I wanted. I'm going to look at our schedule here. We're going to play three games here against the Brewers. So, let me grab a Sody real quick. Open the can, and let's begin. Practice field. God. Distance throwing long. Okay, we'll call the manager for Trevor, please take a seat. Okay. Performance of the summer months. Got it. How am I doing? Have to get over a performance this season as a two way player. Pitch 32.2 innings this month with a 1.10 oh, ERA. He just takes a chip of any runs lately. Had even an average of 8.17 this month. So he's been hitting. Yeah. He performs a two way player. Performance games. Slow the chip. I won't let you down. Okay. This is the show that mine has been lost. Great. Okay, it looks like it's City Connect Day. So. Here we go. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Washington Nationals. Base is empty Daddy, with two away. Good. Now That's it's the DH, good. Trevor good. Dillon. Here we go, DH in time. And that one hammered. Is that gone? And it's Dinner! His latest homer in an incredible season. That's the one Nationals nothing. Strike it's 154 on the season. That adds another game to his hitting streak, Chris. Yeah, he's been doing so many things well with the blade and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the now, Okay, 2 nothing now. Nothing the edge, third inning, two outs. Four. Is absolutely belted, and that's in the gap. That going two, going two. Into the corner. Chapman headed home. He's headed home. Relay he throw. throw. Say three nothing. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the Homer game in a down, double. And it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he has seen it fair. like a beach ball. Scored position with two away. Blake Sable digging in for the Nationals. Here's a 1 1. Bunting for a hit. Okay, the third. And that'll put Sable. runners at the corners with two away. Well, seeing that was really nice outs. looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bad angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. Could almost walk to first. Two on, two outs. Goes and down struck looking. struck him out. It's two runs on. Okay, four to three Brewers now. Hitter's got some good opposite. And what I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is it the line drive. That's a single. Bases are now juiced with one out. Bases now loaded. Only one away. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad. Got him looking. Struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Got to give him a huge okay. amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it 
should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Came back with a no and trouble he here. Puts it out away of it. for the out. All right. Up now for Washington, Trevor okay. Dillon. And it may be a long shot, but it's a good one. Give him the cycle. Oh. Swung on, belted. That's back. Gone. That's the lead. Five to four. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's five four. Chris, he's homered in back to back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. We head to the clubhouse again. Next game should be a pitching game, right? Yes. Everybody, glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Washington Nationals. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton and Singy the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Trevor Dillon. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many in bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Well, he's been a real quality starter for okay, his career yeah, yeah, coming into this one. Ball. What stands out for me is that right-handed hitters right. have First really struggled pitch. batting right. below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard Barely time the picking there. up his release point and, and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Swing and chasing with the screwball. And that's outside. Nope. Now another fastball. And a pitch. Got him. And one ball. Very frustrating right there. First strikeout. There we speedy go. Speedy potential base runner win. But two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. Change but up. some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And first offering is fouled off. Dylan. Curve He's become known door. as a guy that's really tough to take deep, and that is especially valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the and ballpark so much. And that is caught. Profar makes the grab on the run. Two away. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you want the bases to be empty, and that's where Change control up. and command really comes into play for a guy like this. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Screw ball back door, corner. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. dirt. He's dealing with a Fast great two-strike hitter right here. Tight. The strikeout is not automatic. And that's, that's a, a fair hit. ball. Around first, heading for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Okay. Well, the last okay. 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has Change to feel up. good. Solid swing from start to end, yep. on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. There's 
Here's a strike. The strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more exposed. Got him. Strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Is it a tough spot? Had to make a foul great that pitch. one off, but Did I'll it. take it. Got the strikeout gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Base is empty. Running. First at bat. Trevor Dillon digging in for the Nationals. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going nice for here in this one. And a foul ball. Main pitcher of the month. No one better. Keep it going. Here we go. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Chorio makes the play, and that ends okay. the back to work on three the down for Washington. Scoreless after one. Jake Bowers. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the DH, Jake Bowers. Hey, get your pitch and drive it, huh? Ladies Recording out. Fastball. Dylan back to work. Dylan measures six oh, feet two okay. inches, 210 like pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. Now, so. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Fastball high and tight. Got it. Got him. Got him. Well, he's got great strikeout Third stuff strike on the mound, doesn't he? Double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Up. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Brings it in, Got and there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open Fast instead ball. of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up okay. the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Change up. Next offering oh. is downstairs. Two out spaces empty. Ball. The 1 1 is fouled off. Okay, screw ball, see if I can get him to chase. Back to the mound, he's got Back it. to me, throw to first. Out number three. End of the inning. Brewers go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. New so inning getting inning started. Work. Up the now from Milwaukee, one. Jackson Chorier. That clips the zone. It's 0-1. Now well, the key to his success is getting Change ahead up. early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep down in the counts. Ball. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a That's strike, it. but... He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now a chance for Andrew Monasterio. Next one misses, and now it's even one and one. Churio Fastball. aboard here at first with nobody out. Fastball for a strike. Let's give him the slider, see if I can get him to chase. Got him. He's got him. <laughs> himself up on the way back to the dugout. He got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Change up. Right into the play. Change up. This is one of those situations. The infielders have back to replan. There goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. Throw the second tag. And he's oh, gone down. Second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Now let's bring him up. That one 95 to finish him off. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Set for the start of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Sal Fraley. And here it comes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that drops in for a strike. And a big swing and a miss. I'm getting chased on the screwball. The next yep. offering misses. And that's ball two. Slider back door. Pitch. To the right side. To the 
over. Toss to Huff. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now and now it's William Kevin Contreras. William Contreras. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. And he grounds Round one to the right side. Second. For the first. Throws two the away. first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense move behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Adamas batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Curveball, so we can give him the chase. Foul it off. Okay. And a pitch. High and tight. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Okay. Okay. Let's speed you up a little bit. Fastball. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Okay, let's go outside. The slider so I can get the chase. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Got him on the slider. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Still no score. Okay. Now I'm afraid that everything is hit. No Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and fires. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. And a pitch. And that one ripped into right. Chori puts it away for the out. Out number two. Okay, fifth inning. Back in Washington, D.C. We go to the top of the fifth. Now here's Jake Bowers. Well, these Brewers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. Okay, Chasing yep. pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit Nine today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, right and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well nope. as a group. Next pitch is outside. And on Fast the mound, ball. you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his Got hand. Got him. That's number seven. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. One down, base is empty. Ball one there. Fastball. Good eye right there. Play here. This to third. Third base. Chapman over yep. to first yep. in time. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Garrett now Mitchell now. up now for the Brewers. Yeah, that yeah. one's in there on one. Mitchell goes six feet, three inches, 26 years old. A former first round okay. pick in 2020. Screwball. Got him the screwball. Out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. Gone in order are the Brewers. And we are still scoreless. Jackson Chorio digs in now. Chorio hitting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. And that one fouled off. And now the one on the ground, right side. First base. And he Steps takes it himself back. for the out. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work First a little base, bit harder. And he handles out. it himself for the out. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Next for the Brewers, Bryce Terang. That one catches Side the zone, the and that's strike one. It really looks fastball like these hitters the have been corner. in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've the not been ball. able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Got him. Swings and misses, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. No score. Now a screamer into the outfield. Can't get down. there, and now maybe extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay throw, and he's out. Got him. That's an out. Up it. down, and that ends the inning. Hard to be a little too we aggressive. go to the top of the seventh. Okay, now seven, here seven. is Sal Fraley. 
And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. That one misses, and it's one and one. Left hand hitter waits. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Close one, doesn't get the call. Two balls, two strikes. Fastball. Just misses with that one. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. The slider back door. That's the third. Third base. The throw to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Here's the Brewers catcher now, William Contreras. There's a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. Let's get him out again. Two. Bounced up the middle. Ball, second base. Now a jump throw. First, On the money. Him. Nice play. The Taylor Walls coming into the game now is the injury no, replacement. An injury, so. And first offering is fouled Whoa. off. Two outs. Missed with a changeup. And one and one. Fastball. Nope. And him chasing on the curve. And the righty deals. Got him. Through it and that's a strikeout. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. And we still have no score. Back here in Nationals Park. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the DH, Jake Bowers. Dylan back to work. That's down and in. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. There's the strike at the knees. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. Let's go back to the ball. Fastball. Swing Got him. Miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment move, get back on track. His team needs him. I like that call, but, you know, that's baseball, though. Base is empty one away here in the second game of the series. Right through there for a strike. And getting chased on the curves. Got him. Some misses. It's a strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there. Strikeout. Change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table. Mm -hmm. and you can't make contact. Ground ball. Second Ripped base. Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses to first. And Milwaukee is set down in order. Totally dominant on the mound as he's through eight without surrender. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. Don't and there's a new pitcher. Trevor Dillon. Chance to walk it off here. Out. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and uh, these type of home run totals. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. That one is absolutely belted. That's it down. Off the wall. Should be extra bases. Mitchell fires it in as they hold Double. the winning run at second base. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. You're the way that he now. squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Hit hard on the ground is short. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Here at the bottom of the ninth, one out. And now up for Washington, Sam Huff. That one to first. Fires to second for one. Double play. Play, we're going to extra. Extra inning. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded. I 
at least I got the no decision. It ain't foul with the law, so. Okay, on to the final game of the episode and the final game of the month. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Today, the finale of this three game weekend set, it's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Stepping in the ball ball threat, Trevor. The first at bat. Bottom He's a first. guy who does it all yeah, with the lack of contact second. in today's game. This guy hits for out. contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slow too. There's a swing and a try. And that it ball is, is gone. gone. Two nothing. He did a for that one. He's up to three home runs in the series, and just like that, they're out front. It's two nothing. That adds another game to his hitting streak, Chris. Yeah, he's been doing so many things well with the plate and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Now a chance now for a grand slam, but really, really it off. Is absolutely belted. And it was going to, going to. Runner from second scores as they add on. Two runner it's score, four nothing. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Now, and now uh, it's Keebert Ruiz. to the left side. Monasterio throws to first. They limit the damage here. That will they put the two inning. on the board. Two hits. No errors, okay. but two. Four nothing for two. Five nothing now. We're not in a double again. Lifted to left center. Dinger! Six nothing, Washington National. A gigantic blast. His second home run of the game, and they add a run. It's six nothing. One, Singing, he's been six. Hot. Yeah, another one swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Another dinger and another run on the board. Six the nothing. guy's got a real hard fastball. You Here can't the swing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Now it's the power speed combo. Now. Trevor Dillon, three for three. He's got a double and a pair of home runs. Hit hard, base hit. That's a single now. So a man aboard now with one away. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Hebert Ruiz. First, and he's back in easily. The 0-2, run around the move. Got one out to right. Chorio makes right. the catch. Throw right behind the runner. That was a They've really got a bad decision. Up now for Washington, Trevor Dillon. And it may be a long yeah. shot. Triple here. Just a triple for the cycle, which is the hardest to get. This is not really a triple friendly stadium either, so. Here's a swing and a drive. Instead, I'll hit a three run home run. How about that? A massive home run. That's his third home run of the game. And they One take out to their lead. It's 13 0. Singing the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, 
Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. It's been impressive. An absolute beatdown. So seniors dive into the numbers, courtesy of Statcast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, we end the month of June with a 56 and 27 record. Let's see here. We have an off day followed by three games against San Diego. To open up July and then we'll have July 4th against the Mets. And then four games at San Fran, so probably take against those at Polo Browns. And then See what happens. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and save. And until next time, stay frosty. Ice Mask Gang out.